Good evening, everybody. Before I call this meeting to order, I am pinch hitting tonight for Commissioner President Shade. So everyone be kind because Dave is actually grading me on this. So with that being said, I call this meeting to order. Mr. Williams, if you would please leave us in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you. And Commissioner Shea does send his apologies, but he get tied up at a, a different one and couldn't be in two places at once, and we don't not want him to hurt himself getting here. So thank you. Okay, is there any uh, additions or uh, deletions to the agenda? Uh, no. Very good. Do we have a motion to approve the September 24th business meeting minutes? So moved. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Second. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay, item one is Mount Maryland Trails. Larry Barak, please, sir. Please, sir. All right, I'm Larry Brock, president of Mountain Maryland Trails. Uh, we are an organization uh, whose mission is to create and maintain a network of trails to promote the wellness, sustainable economic development, environmental stewardship, and connection to our local cultural heritage. Uh, we are very active in our community. Uh, the main project we've been working on and active with is the Great Allegheny Passage, which runs from downtown Cumberland to Pittsburgh for 150 miles. <laughs> Last year, there were 96,930 users. There are actually counters that count you when you go by. The raw data on those counters right now are up 56% this year over last year's, which is going to put us probably in the neighborhood of 150,000 users. In the past, 30% of them have been what I refer to as OPM, other people's money, people from out of town. Uh, there are still a lot of through riders coming through, but I'd say a large portion of that increase has been the locals using the trail during these interesting times. Uh, we were also just nominated this week as one of the 15 most, not, not nominated, but actually made the <coughs> list of one of the 15 most scenic bike trails in the United States. Uh, by Forders Magazine, and it's very thankful for the promotions and the outdoor recreational efforts that uh, the county's tourism office, uh, Ashley and Jessica, have done to help promote this. Uh, we, we probably twice a year make a list of prominent bike trails in the world, if not in the country. Uh, the CNO Canal, which comes from D.C. to Cumberland, uh, is up 25% overall this year on their usage. It is the second most visited national park in the country. It surpassed the Grand Canyon this year for usage. Wow. I will stand here and admit to you that a large portion of that is in the D.C. metropolitan area, but here it is also popular. <coughs> I had lunch yesterday at Krabby Pig. There were three couples that I talked to that were in from out of town. One was from Denver, one couple was from Denver, one couple was from Baltimore, and one was from Pittsburgh. And then there was a gentleman from Amsterdam that was in, that was doing the trip. And that was just at lunch yesterday. Uh, I want to thank Jimmy Bone from the County Commissioner's, uh, County Sheriff's Office for an excellent job of maintaining the, share, the trail. Uh, Craig Roberts, Robertson, I'm sorry, for providing that service and the commissioners for having that set up and allowing it to be done. Uh, a great job, well done on maintaining the trail, uh, the gap as I refer to the trail. Uh, I've been told frequently that it is the best section between DC and Pittsburgh. So the, work, the huge amount of work they did over the winter is greatly appreciated and we want to say thank you. Uh, one of the projects which was just mm -hmm. finished, uh, I was told, I got notice yesterday that it is now done, and that's the lighting of the board and tunnel. And I would like to present the commissioners 
with a check for $9,150, and it does have an invoice wow. in here so we can figure out where it goes, uh, which is our share for building the trail. Uh, just as a, a sidelight, the original construction of the Great Allegheny Passage cost about $11.5 million, and just about 500000 of it was from the county. The rest of it managed to come from state, federal, and private donations to build the trail which I think was a great asset and one that has over the last 15 years, 16 years now that it has been open, been I think a very active part of our community. Uh, as I have said, Allegheny County is part of a world-class trail system between the Gap and the CNO Canal. We at MMT, Mount Maryland Trails, ask you to take advantage of these assets and expand upon them. We are asking the county to accept the letter that they have from the Department of Natural Resources to build a trail down George's Creek. It's a seven and a half mile section that runs from Braddock uh, Estates down almost to Barton. Uh, basically follows Route 36 down George's Creek. We feel this should, should add additionally to our very popular trail system and be a great additional uh, benefit for our <laughs> community both the locals that live here and the people that come out of town and spend money here. Um, we have gotten support from actually the five municipalities along the way. Uh, the copy of the letter up there that I got this, this morning has now been signed and it is in the mail to you from all five municipalities, Western Port, Luke, Barton, Lona Coning, and Frostburg, who support the concept of building this trail. Unfortunately, this copy does not have it but there is a hard copy in the mail to you at this time. I want to end with a story, and I never thought I'd say January was back in the day, but I guess at this point I can say that. Uh, back in the day, my wife and I took an anniversary trip and flew around the world, and I went bike riding in Dunedin, New Zealand, which is about as far from here as you can get. And I rented a bike to go for a bicycle ride, surprise, surprise. I was talking about the trail to the owner of the bike shop, and he said, you know, I've been to Cumberland. I've heard of that. I was here on Ram Ride. I want to ride that. And I gave him a trail guide. Before I turned my bike in, two other people in that store had asked me for my card and information on that trail. So, folks, we have a world-renowned, world-renowned trail in our community, and we're asking you to help <clears throat> expand that excellent asset. Thank you very much for your time and your consideration and for serving an office, because I give you a lot of credit for putting up with what you get to go through. Thank you very much. And I don't know, I'm going to give Linda the check, because I trust her. <laughs> Absolutely. Can we get a picture? Why, if you would, why don't you come up and get a picture? With, yeah. if you can bring anyone from your group you like. Yeah. Thank you, Larry. Yes, sir. Thank you. And I'm going to turn it this way, because you don't want to see gap self storage. Oh, I'm Here you go, Creed. Yeah. Yes. Move more to the center, please. We've got to move to, wait a minute, can I get Creed to move to the left? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. See you soon. I'm sure somebody will get that done. Yeah. Thank you. As Larry gets back. <coughs> On behalf of the county commissioners, we'd like to thank you, Larry, because any time that we need any help with the trail, you're always the first to help. We was able to, through the help with Tanya Gomer, it's going to be on the agenda here next, help secure a piece of equipment. Last year, you guys stepped right up when we needed help with the trailer, the trailer to move it. Anytime we've asked you for anything, you've always been first there to help. We thank you. Well, we appreciate it. Yeah. Like I said, it's, we appreciate your support because it is something that benefits the community directly by us being out using it. Yes. And it brings people to our community to spend money without a really big impact on the community for having to handle it. 
Yeah. Well, there, I, I know you got a lot, a lot of people that, that support you and help you and work there, and we thank every one of you. So thank, thank, you. thank you much. Thank you. And one more thing to follow up: we're going to be bringing a letter of support to you, commissioners. Um, Lee, Lee and, and us, we've been working on the letter, so we'll be bringing that letter shortly to you guys. For the Georgia's so, Creek Trail? Yes. Uh, I think we've already kind of started the preliminary work on that. Yes. That, that's, that's correct, Commissioner Brody. Where, where it stands right now at this point is the uh, the 1830 railroad group that, that owns the portion of trail that we're looking at here. They've moved for the uh, Surface Transportation Board to start the process of abandoning the railroad. Uh, once that happens, it, it's gone. There's no further use that we could ever uh, have for that railroad. We're attempting to intervene at this point, uh, along with the state of Maryland. We're working with DNR, uh, trying to put together a memorandum of understanding that would outline both the commissioner's role and the state of Maryland's role in, in sort of working together to, to develop this Georges Creek Rail Trail. Um, Ashley Workman's been instrumental in getting this put together. Uh, we're just kind of ironing out the final details before we can put it before you all. Very good. Very Sounds good. great. Look forward to seeing that. You have a deadline of, I say, March 1st, but technically, like 10th or 11th. Mm -hmm. and I mean, that's a hard deadline, so I understand. It, it, Mr. Brock's correct. At this point, the, uh, the, the 1830 group has, has petitioned to abandon it uh, if, if nothing happens prior to <laughs> that March. 10th or 11th date, wherever it is, uh, if, if nothing happens at that point, the, the railway will be abandoned. So I, I know Miss Workman's working, trying to get everything from the state of Maryland that we need. Uh, the, the state of Maryland essentially re is going to require the Allegheny County to serve as a trail sponsor, which is necessary under the Rails to Trails program. We just have to work out all the details to, to get that. Uh, I know she was just speaking to them this past week, trying to get follow-up documentation from them so we can keep it moving very good sounds great keep it moving so thank you with that we'll go into our action agenda first item we have is resolution 20-15 allegheny high school to a strategic demolition fund and up the bat we have miss tanya gomer so good evening gentlemen um we have Thanks to our local delegation, the opportunity to get $500,000 from the Strategic Demolition Fund that can assist um, with our efforts for the asbestos abatement and then the final demolition of the old Allegheny High School. So the resolution is to support the application that we'll be submitting um, early next week along with our, our plans and the person who's going to be following me for the actual bid award notice, um, the $500,000 with this application would support the bid that um, we're hoping that you'll award to Bristol. Absolutely. Thank you. Do we have a motion to support Resolution 20-15? So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you, Tanya. Thanks, Tanya. Okay. With that, item three on the action agenda. Allegheny High School Hazardous Abatement Project Bid Award. For that, we have Deputy Director of Department of Public Works, Adam Patterson. Commissioners, thank you, Tanya, mm -hmm. for your help with this project. And, um, we, we advertised, uh, we handled this in two steps. We were seeking a qualified mm -hmm. firm, so we advertised publicly for uh, proposals from qualifi qualified contractors beginning the middle of August. After that, we reviewed uh, me and a gentleman that we had hired to do the uh, the testing of the hazardous material in the project uh, in the building. At that point, we invited four contractors to submit proposals for the hazardous abatement. Three bids were received on the 29th. Um, I'm seeking your permission to award the contact to, uh, contract to Bristol in the amount of $914,800. With that, I'll answer any questions you may have. I we'll don't see where we have any. Uh, we need a motion to award the project to Bristol. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, Adam. That's hard to believe that we're probably going to spend a lot more to abate just the asbestos out of that building than it ever costs to build it. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's in rough shape, and unfortunately, uh, it came in a little higher than we thought it would be. But that's a result of the wage rates we had to pay for 
right. with, the, uh, with the money from the state. Well, thank you for that, because I know you've <laughs> been spending eight, nine it's, months on this to get yeah, this far. COVID has slowed us some, but we're, we're prepared and getting ready to move forward now. Great. Yeah, thank you. Thank Thanks, you. Adam. With that, we have the consent agenda. Jason Bennett, County Administrator, sir. Good evening. Um, six items on your consent agenda tonight. Um, item four is the escalation training, uh, law enforcement training scholarships program approval. Item five is the Stallman land lease agreement um, for a communications tower. Item six is professional services agreement for marketing consultation services with McLaren and Williams. Item seven is business attraction services contract renewal with Greenwell Consulting for 115,000. Item eight is Delmock Technologies Inc. incentive package in the amount of $15,000. And item nine is Western Maryland Advanced Technology Center phase one um, contract with Frostburg State University for 60,000. Very good, any questions for the consent agenda? I uh, would like to make a motion to table item six and item seven for uh, further discussion. Well, I'll second that motion because uh, these were something that Commissioner Shade was here was going to be here and prepared to answer. Someone did have a question, and I'm no, I'm not as clear as, as on this, and I don't believe you are either, Dave. So, uh, we'll, a motion and a second to table item six and seven. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Now we need a. Uh, motion for the consent, agi uh, consent agenda for items four, five, eight, and nine. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And that is passed. And thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. With that being said, sir, we have uh, um, anything? Just one more quick comment. Just a big thanks sure. to, to Adam, Tanya, all of Public Works for their work on Allegheny High School. It's been ongoing for some time. Adam's made probably more trips than he can count to Allegheny. Um, we, we all have over time. Um, big project, big deal. It's going to be a lot of work to get done, and, but it's heading in the right direction. Very good. We got big plans for that site when it gets ready. So yes. Thank everybody. Yeah. County Attorney Beeman, any comments this evening, sir? Nothing further, Commissioner. Thank you. Well, thank you. Commissioner Caffarelli. Nothing to add tonight. Thank you. And I actually have nothing tonight, so with, uh, we have anything, anyone signed up, Linda, tonight? No? Well, thank you. Mr. Wilmot, it's good to see you, everyone. So with that being said, <laughs> meeting closed. Thanks, everyone, for showing up.